Nagis channel. Hope everyone is doing great. In this video, we are going to learn about personal pronouns. What is personal pronouns? Let's learn together. Before we start, take a look at the sentences. Kevin is a boy. Kevin likes to read. Kevin likes to play football. Hmm, can you think of a way to make these sentences flow more naturally? Hmm, well, we'll come back to this in a few minutes. But first, what's a personal pronoun? A personal pronoun replaces a noun or nouns in a sentence. There are two kind of personal pronouns, subject and object. We are going to first focus on subject pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, we, they. A subject pronoun usually comes at the beginning of a sentence and does the action in the sentence. For example, this sentence. Anne bakes a carrot cake. Anne is a noun and more specifically a proper noun. What we should replace Anne with? Anne is a girl, so we are going to replace it with she. She bakes a carrot cake. What about this sentence? My brother likes to dance. We are going to replace my brother with a pronoun. My brother is a boy, so we will replace it with he. He likes to dance. Let's look at this next sentence. Lily and I walk to school every day. Let's replace Lily and I with a pronoun. What should we replace it with? Lily and I should be replaced with we. We walk to school every day. Are you ready for the next one? The box is in front of the door. Which pronouns will you replace the box with? The box is a non-human object. So, we will replace the word, the box, with the pronouns it. It is in the front of the top. What if there are multiple things of people like in this sentence? Anne and Raj went for a picnic. What we should replace an enlarged weight? There is more than one person as a subject, so it's they. Good job. They went for a picnic. Then, what about the pronoun I? We don't talk about ourselves by our first name, right? Would be silly. My name is Maggie, but I don't say Maggie is hungry. Maggie wants dinner. Maggie wants a burger. For example, in this paragraph, Maggie is reading. Maggie likes to dance. Maggie likes to sing. Now, I'm going to replace my name with a pronoun. I. That's right. I am reading. I like to dance. I like to sing. What about the pronouns you? When someone talks to you, it's be strange for that person to say your name over and over again. So that person will replace your name with pronouns you. You are dancing now. Alright, let's go back to the paragraph you read at the beginning of this video. Kevin is a boy. Kevin likes to read. Kevin likes to play football. Hmm, how can we make these sentences flow more naturally using pronouns? We are going to replace all of the Kevin's with pronouns except for the first one because we need to know who we are talking about. So, we are, so here we go, Kevin is a boy. He likes to read, he likes to play football. Wow! That sounded so much more natural. Now let's focus on another type of personal pronouns, object pronouns. Me, you, him, her, he, us, them. 
An object pronoun is the receiver of the action. Let, let's look at the sentence. Miss Rina gave Jane a book. Whom is the receiver of the action? Jane is. So let's go ahead and replace Jane with one of the object pronouns. Jane is a girl. So is her. Miss Rina gave her a book. Shall we look at some more example? I help Ali to plant a tree. Ali is a boy. So we will replace with the pronouns him. I helped him to plant a tree. Can you tell your friends to come on Sunday? Let's replace your friends with a pronoun. Now friends means they are more than one. So which pronouns we should choose? Mm, that's right. Them. Can you tell them to come on Sunday? Okay. Yes, the last one, you guys. More practice the better, right? My mother took my brother and me to the market. Can you replace my brother and me with a pronoun? Us is the correct answer. Good job. My mother took us to the market. You did a great job learning all the personal pronouns. I hope this video helped you better understand how to speak and write without using the same nouns over and over again. For extra practice, you can look at the description box below to find links to more activities. Dear students, thank you for watching. Hope you have liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to get more fun videos like this. And till then, take care. See you. Bye-bye.